Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Holy. It's been uh, a whole month. Now, I was just waiting for Arcane Odyssey to stack up some updates. I don't know if you guys hear the car beep beep. It's very early in the morning. May or may not have a sore throat, but... Anyways, we have like the recent patches. I checked this through all of these, but they're mostly like objects, right? Changes for the UI and like new buildings, whatever. Um, nothing important. The most important ones are still like, what, a month ago? I think this update, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing crazy, well, as long as you're, uh, not a clan player, or I mean, if you're a clan player, you'll love this update, or like the next one, not the Misty part 2, that was terrible, we don't talk about that, part 1, part 2, oh my god, it's not even a part, bro, it's like a piece, <laughs> piece 1 and piece 2, you know, you need like a piece 100 in the complete Nimbus Seed update, so, um, yeah, <laughs> Hopefully the clan update is not like that. Um, but yeah, you can change your logo for like, I think, yeah, like 3000 Galleon. Oh, no, 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 that's for the name. You can change the logo for, wait, right? Yeah, you can, ch it just says you can change it. Wait, it doesn't say how much you need. What the heck? I mean, fine, whatever. Oh wait, changing logo costs 3000 as well. Good, good, good. So I'm like, I read it wrong. And changing the color is a thousand. Changing name is also 3000, like the logo. So that's nice. That's like a little nice addition. Besides that, you can make a sub clan if you're in the Grand Navy or Assassin Syndicate. As long as you have like 600,000 renown, right? To make a sub clan in like whatever. Uh, not really that important, I feel like. I mean, sure, you can have like new buildings, right? Because that's what the next update is about. Which is very important with the... Uh, with the clan banks now, right? Because right now, with the clan banks, what you can do is you can store galleons in your banks, right? And then you can have up to about 10k, right? If you don't upgrade your clan. I think it goes up to... I don't know how much it goes up to. I only got up to like, what, 25k for the clan storage? Um... Yeah... But anyways, basically, the bank has been changed to clan treasury now, so... They can no longer function like banks, which is this... This is huge, right? You're not gonna be able to store... Your galleon anymore, besides maybe putting it on an old account, right? That's the easiest way to like have infinite storage, but I feel like that's a little bit annoying to do, right? You need to get another account on. Ugh. It just is such a hassle compared to like the clan banks, right? Uh huh. Okay, well, anyways, basically the treasury will be used to buy structure for like buildings on the island, right? Like if you have a clan. You have like different, I assume, structure to protect your like area. Oh wait, no. It says place the some structure placed it on islands will generate passive galleons, right? Oh, okay, some. Okay, not all of them. So I assume some will protect your island, like maybe Fort Talos, right? You know, they shoot cannons out at like enemy boats and whatever. Why not? Uh huh. That's nice. I mean, passive galleon is nice, but I assume it goes to the treasury. Yeah, it says for your clan treasury. Ooh. So yeah, I also mentioned if you don't want your galleon in your clan treasury to be inaccessible, you should withdraw some of them before Empire's update. Oh, okay, that's what it's called now. I guess that does sound better. I mean, I don't know if the update is as grand as like the name right like we saw what happened to Nimbus Seed so like expectation low guys keep it low keep it low and then oh yeah here's another huge one invisibility potion no longer prevent Atlanteans or Sirens from aggroing onto the player so if you're a dark sea enjoyer I mean I do like it a lot so this will ruin your day a lot right because if you go down to range 4 and above, 
no, range 3 and above, the land teams there get crazy strong. Like, they hit up to, like, I mean, 100 to, like, what, maybe one-shotting you, right, in terms of damage-wise. And the magic size is also really huge, starting from range 4, I believe. Range 3 already gets crazy, but range 4 is, like, where it's, like, doom. They're, like, the doom bots of Arcane Odyssey, like... They just do everything that you dream to do, but you cannot. <laughs> so, yeah. But, okay, I mean, increased drop rate items within Dark Seal chest, which is great. Um, gem types got increased from 20% to 50%. Don't know what this means, but that's good. Enhanced scroll all types increased from 166 .6 to 33.3. .3. Darkseid exclusive item went from 20% to 50% it th This doesn't really show much because I don't really know what the base percentage is Right like it show an increase in percentage but You know like 0% increase with like 50% Is still zero right like So we, we don't know what the base stat is for like gem chances if that makes any sense guys, uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the data on me right now, so I can't tell you guys. But it's nice to see them, like, get buff. Even though Invisibility Potion is basically useless now, because that's the only thing you can use it for, which is, you know, to prevent Atlanteans from seeing you, right? Or Sirens, so you can, like, speed clear, right? Uh, huh. Okay, uh... Nothing important. Oh yeah, here's like the most important one I think of this patch, right? Which is for the luck potion, right? Now, if you haven't seen this already, ooh, this is really huge. Revamped it how the luck effect works. So, yeah, there's like a whole paragraph about luck effect. So, I don't like that, but whatever. Basically, luck effect now gives you a second chance, right? Or a second drop. Or like a chance for a second drop, right? Tier 1 gives you 10% of rolling a second drop. Tier 2 gives you 40% chance of rolling a second drop. Tier 3 is 70%. And Tier 4 is luck, 100% luck guaranteed on a second drop. And Tier 5 gains T3 drops. So that means basically when you open the chest, instead of getting 1, right? You get like 2 instead. And at tier 5, you get 3 rows instead, so that's really crazy. I mean, for the other loot goblins out there, if you want to increase your galleon size, I mean, this is perfect. <sighs> but if you really just want, like, a sunken gear, or, like, you know, use the luck potion to do some fishing, right? This will probably not be it. I mean, sure, you'll get, like, a second drop, but, like, it takes time to fish, right? And the luck potion have a certain duration. So I feel like this won't work as well for um, fishing, right? It's a real, it's a huge nerf for fishing, but treasure hunting wise, I think this will be still goaded, right? And also same thing with dark steel chest. This might be pretty good because of the right the drop increase from the dark steel chest. Um, hmm, yeah. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, this could be a buff or a nerf, but I, I feel like it's a nerf in general, right? Um, cause se a second chance, right? It's not exactly that... <sighs> Man. I don't know. Yeah, it's not as consistent as, like, the real luck increase as we had, like, before, right? Ah, <sighs> well, it's what it is. But now it says... Uh, the luck effect now affects the rate of far less things since it was very overpowered to loot even regular chests with high luck. Oh wait, what? Okay. Does it not affect chests? Let's read this one. Chess, for chests, every item obtained from treasure chests including things like rare spells grow or roll again depending, depending on luck tier. Okay, never mind. It works. Thank god. Um... Tier 5 luck would mean that the chances of getting a Prometheus, uh, the force, the four lead clover, I can't, I cannot spell this. 
um, is rolled three times at the base rate of one in six thousand. So basically, you get like uh, instead of getting like a uh, two in six thousand, right? Which is what like the tier five potion would have done, like about about that percentage, right? Instead, it will roll one in six thousand three times for the four leaf clover when you open the chest. Um, which I mean, I guess is good, right? Because in theory, right? If you think about this normally, rolling three times is like getting like what three in six thousand. Rolling three times, technically, it's not really how it works, but that's like the simpler way to think about it. Um, so kinda like a buff if you're doing chest hunting, right? Because you can like, open a lot of chests at the same time. So getting like chest loot might be way easier. That's nice. Um, cool, cool. Rock breaking, rock drops are rolled again depending on luck. It works on rocks? <laughs> Who in the world uses luck? Oh, wait, I do. Shit. I, I was farming rocks out with luck potion. Uh, in uh... Like what? Three months ago? I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> uh, drop chance for NPC drops are also rolled. Steel chests are also rolled again. Um... Jewel crafting luck, the same effect as before. Oh, thank god. Oh lord. That's good, that's good. Fishing now applies to items caught by fishing rather than affecting fish rarity. Oh no. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Fishing got like nerfed a lot. Also, I tried to hurry up because I'm running out of breath. I'm, get I'm getting sick. I need to drink, drink more water after this. I, And I didn't eat breakfast. You know, uh, <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, but anyways, when catching an item or a sunken item, the drop rate is roll again depending on luck tier. So catching a sunken item with tier 5 luck, what means it rolls the base sunken rate two more times, which is three in total, right? Three, one in 2,000. Both like chances, right, for the sunken item. Which, yay! Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but that's that's that really. Like that's the last sentence relating to luck. And then the rest, I I don't know. There's like visual, like memory changes, like animation, right? Nothing crazy. Let me know if I miss anything, guys, because really, there's just more like changes in like. Balances, if you call it balances, I feel like it's more like nerves in general. There's a lot of like nerves rather than like buffs. I feel like if that makes any sense. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, there's a decrease in regen efficiency. I'm just checking to see if we miss anything, right? Uh, they did change the attack size stat formula. To make power with high base size. Okay, to make high base size gain less size from it. Okay, so like metal magic, right? Because it, it has like a high base size affinity, right? Metal magic or like rock magic, right? They have huge radius. Basically, attack size is nerf on those magic, so. Um, sure, whatever. I mean, I I don't want to read through all of these. Oh my lord, there are so many balance changes. <laughs> lord, first in CR, increase in like damage for weapon users. Like a lot of gun changes, right? Increase in damage for guns. Oh lord, I can't read them. There's too many. Ah, my eyes hurt. I, I'm already hurt from like the luck changes and like... The clan bank changes, right? And like the invisibility pawn, those matter to me the most, right? Oh lord, please! I'm hoping for some good news right now. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Nothing much, you know. Um, just me, uh, being uh, very, very well. I'm feeling negative. I don't know about you guys. This sucks. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye.